A couple weeks ago, I changed one little thing in my life that has made a huge difference in how I feel on the daily. And today's episode, we're going to talk about that thing and how truly it is those little things that make the biggest impact. Stay tuned. You're listening to the Wellness Simplified Podcast. Simple wellness tips to help you improve your life without turning it upside down. With your host, award-winning fitness instructor, nutrition coach, and wellness expert, Susie Fevens. Welcome back to the podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. It really does mean so much to me, especially when I get messages from you saying that listening to this is like having a conversation with me, and that is how I want it to feel. So I'm always delighted to hear that that's how it comes across. So if you would like To have more than a one-sided conversation with me, you can always find me at welluniversity.ca. I have classes that are happening live online every single week. I also have a new spring renewal program. It's a two-week program starting on Monday, April the 4th, but I'm going to leave it up for a couple of weeks because as long as you do it in the spring season, it doesn't really matter if you start right on the 4th. $29 for this two-week program that is just going to teach you a bunch of simple things. Notice a theme here. Simple things that you can do seasonally, most specifically in this transition from winter to spring to help better support your body. Because, you know, we do a lot of things, spring cleaning in our house. We do yard cleanup and doing all the stuff that we need to get ready in our yard for spring. But what do you do for your body? Probably nothing. Probably nothing. But there are some simple things you can do that really does help your body transition more easily from winter to spring. Because there are some things that go on and people will complain about them for a month or two every year and you can better support your digestion your respiratory health a bunch of different things with some easy practices enough about that let's get right into today's episode and the one thing i changed a couple weeks ago that has made such a difference in my life this is no snake oil no tricksies here what i did is i changed my pillow i changed my pillow on my bed that pillow that I sleep on. For years, I want to say since the age of like 12, 13, I have used a Metaflow water pillow. Not the same one, guys. I have changed it. I've bought new ones many times over the years, but I've always stuck to that pillow. So if you're not familiar with a water pillow, it is a regular pillow that in the bottom has like a bladder and you put water in it and you can put more or less water um, depending on what you need. I've always needed quite a firm pillow. So my pillow has had, I think between six and eight liters of water in it, um, which is a fair amount, which is a fair amount. And it just helps to better support your neck. And that has worked wonderfully for me for many years. I'm 40 now. So if I've been using them since I was 12 or 13, that tells you how long I have been doing it. Um, But this year, specifically since January, I've just been having a lot of neck pain that I never had before. Um, And at night, I would be so hot, like so hot, like sweating through my clothes. I can't have any blankets hot, like straight up menopause, hot flashes hot, which at the age of 40, sure, it could be premenopause, especially since I only have one ovary. If you don't know that, that's a story for another day. So it wasn't out of the question that I was having some early onset um, menopause symptoms. But a couple weeks ago, I was getting pretty fed up because I was not sleeping through the night. I was waking up. My neck was hurting. My back was hurting. I was hot. I was thrashing around. I was turning my pillow around, doing all of these things to try and get comfortable to sleep. And I said, you know what? I think I'm going to try this pillow tonight. My husband has neck pain, his neck issues as well. And so we happen to have a fairly large stack of pillows here. And one of the pillows we have is a Tempur-Pedic neck pillow. Now, these are pretty pricey, but my husband used to work at Sears before they closed. Oh, Sears. Let's all just take a moment of silence for Sears. Okay. Okay. So when they first announced that they were going to be going out of business and they started um, putting clearance prices or liquidation prices on everything, he purchased one of the Tempur-Pedic neck pillows. So we got it at a really good discount because he got it on the sale price, plus he got an employee discount. Not that I had to validate my purchase to you, but 
everybody likes to hear about a good deal, right? So he got it, but it didn't work for him because if you remember those like egg crate pillows that were contoured, it's sort of like that, except much more dense and using the Tempur-Pedic um, uh, memory foam. It didn't work for him. He actually has an extra vertebrae in his neck. So his neck's a little bit longer than the average neck. And so those curves just didn't work well for him. So it has been sitting just here for years because when did Sears close? Like four years ago, something like that. So it's just been sitting here. And I said a couple weeks ago, you know what? I'm going to just give this pillow a try. I'm going to try it and see if it is any better. And let me tell you that very first night was magical. I did not have any neck pain. I slept through the night, no problem. I woke up, my neck felt great. I was like, I might be, I might be in love with this pillow, but we need to give it a few more shots. It has now been a full two weeks. I am absolutely obsessed with this pillow. <laughs> and I feel, I feel so dumb for not using it earlier because like I say it has been sitting here just in a pile of pillows if you are someone who has neck pain you know the sort of pillow collection you get as you start buying all these different kind of pillows trying to find the right one for you so we have a, a fairly substantial pile of pillows so the fact that I has ha have had this neck pain for all this time before trying this pillow is a little bit ridiculous but that's not all. It's not just my neck pain that's gone away. I'm no longer that hot at night. Yeah, sometimes I get hot and I have to like, you know, stick your leg out from under the blankets to cool down a little bit, but I don't wake up like engulfed in sweat. I have not a single time since I changed pillows. And I realized, I think what was happening is my head was sinking so far into the water pillow that it was like I was wearing a pillow toque all night and I couldn't I couldn't regulate my temperature well because you know a lot of your heat is dissipated through your head. And here I had my head sunk too far in this pillow I think and I have quite a bit of hair so there I wasn't able to cool down. Like I was literally sleeping with a face cloth on my face to try and cool my body down. Like it was serious and I haven't had any problems at all since I changed pillows because the Tempur-Pedic pillow is very dense. It feels hard to the touch, but when you put your head on it, it softens um, to the shape of your head pretty easily, but you don't sink in it. You sink comfortably into it but not deep into it and then thirdly i realized just last weekend i used to wake up in the morning with low back pain and i knew that there was something a little bit off but i've been having some issues with my back for the last five or six months um some of you may remember that last february february 2021 i really jacked up my back i caught myself um from almost slipping on a wet floor in a store. And then the next day I like threw my back out and it was pretty bad for a few days. Um, so since then I've been having some ongoing issues, which I think is related to that and related to an injury I had in high school. But regardless, I was waking up with low back pain and I sort of chalked that up to ongoing issues from that injury. And also the fact I am 40 and you know, everything starts falling to pieces, but I'm not having the low back pain either. So I'm not having the neck pain. I am not so hot. I'm dying at night. I am not having the low back pain. I am sleeping more soundly. My neck feels so much better. All because I changed my pillow. I didn't even have to go to a store. It was something I already had in my house. And one day I just thought, you know what? Let's give this a try. And it changed everything. What am I telling you? I'm not telling you to go out and buy a Tempur-Pedic pillow because they cost like $150. However, if you're having ongoing neck issues, you may want to go to a store where they sell them and see if you can like lay down on, like I feel like Sleep Country would be a good place where you could, if they sell them, I don't even know if they sell them, um, test it out laying on a mattress. I know it's hard to really gauge if a pillow is good or not, but you can tell pretty quickly if you're going to hate a pillow <laughs> if you lay on it but if you're having neck issues you may want to look into a Tempur-Pedic pillow the neck pillow it has truly saved my life but there's always things in our lives that are quick pretty painless switch that didn't cost us any money we had already bought the pillow it didn't take me any time we already had the pillow all I had to do was put a pillowcase on it and throw it on the bed 
And I kept my old pillow, my water pillow right there. So in the night, if I decided this isn't going to work, I could switch back to the other pillow. No harm, no foul. This is such a perfect example of the little things that can change everything. Everybody's always so fixated on making these big, huge changes in their life. And not only are they very difficult to sustain, but they rarely lead to a long-term change. However, something as simple as changing your pillow. You only have to change it once, and if it turns out to be the right pillow for you, you're done, and it can make a huge difference. So I am a Fitbit user, um, which means I have data. I have data to back this up on my sleep. So in the previous weeks um, before I made the switch, before I made the switch, my sleep score would range anywhere from around 58, which is poor, to around 77. Once in a while I would hit 80, but that was very, very rare. I'm just scrolling through here, looking back to um, starting February 13th. Let's see if I had any scores that were over 80. All right, let's actually start back on February 1st. So on February 2nd, I had a score of 80. Um, on the 7th, I had a score of 80. And then I didn't have any scores that were 80 until March 16th. And that I had a score of 82. So that was the best night's sleep I had had in well, a month and a half, 82, all right? So if I look at my calendar really quickly, the day that I switched was, let's see, the 20th of March. So March 20th, I had a 79. And then on that Wednesday, the 23rd, I got up to 80. That Friday, I had an 80. Last Sunday, I had an 82. Monday, 84. Last night I had an 85, but remember I went over a month and a half without hitting any 80s at all. And yeah, the sleep score isn't 100% accurate because there are some nights when I know that I had a really good night's sleep and it says that I had a poor night's sleep and vice versa. Sometimes it thinks I had a great night's sleep and I'm like, sister, no, it was bad. It was bad, but I have had more sound sleep and more consistent sleep, easier time falling asleep and waking up rested the last two weeks versus the previous couple months. And I'm sure it's 100% because I changed the pillow. And that's all I did is I changed my pillow. I have the same blankets on the bed. I still have everything else is the same. And I just find it so amazing. So where does this lead us? Well, it's not as simple as me saying, okay, I changed my pillow and that changed my, how I feel every day. So what's that thing that you can change? Cause you don't know it until you come across it. Like I didn't think about changing the pillow until I thought about changing the pillow. So I can't just give some big sweeping statement about what that thing is for you. But I don't want you to brush off the idea of that doing something different is just not going to make any difference. Because I could have just said, you know what, changing my pillow is not going to matter. That pillow is tough. I don't think I'm going to like it. What did it cost me to try? Nothing. And now I'm so happy that I did. So I'm afraid I don't really have any tangible advice for you, except if you're having neck and back pain, <laughs> maybe you should get a new pillow. When was the last time you replaced your pillow? Maybe you need a different kind of pillow. And, you know, I think it's pretty safe to say that we all tend to keep our pillows longer than we probably should. And yeah, my water pillow, my Metaflow pillow, it probably is at the point in its life where it should be replaced anyway. So had I bought a new one, I might also be feeling better. But I think that this Tempur-Pedic is a better fit for me now than the Metaflow because it's stiffer, my head's not sinking into it, etc., etc. But I think if we're going to take anything away from this episode, it is don't discount the little things. The little things make up a big part of the changes 
that are sustainable long term. And secondly, if you're having neck issues or even back issues, it might be time to investigate a pillow because we think about the neck being related to your pillow. But remember, your neck is part of your spine. And if the curve of your spine at your neck through the cervical spine is compromised, that's going to put extra pressure on different parts of your spine as well. So it isn't surprising to me that my low back pain went away when I changed my pillow. It was surprising to me that it went away. Like I wasn't connecting the fact that I was waking up with back pain with my pillow specifically. But once I changed my pillow and the back pain went away, I said, oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. So maybe that's my, maybe that's my advice is if you can't remember the, when you changed your pillow, if you don't remember the year, if it's been so long that your pillow is like a different color than when you bought it, that might be what you should do is change your pillow. Yeah. That's a thing that changed my life in the last couple of weeks. Seems so silly, but it's made such a huge difference. I don't feel nearly as cranky <laughs> waking up in the morning as I used to. I am going to put a link to the pillow I'm talking about in the show notes. Again, it is an expensive pillow. So I, like, I don't expect people to go and buy this pillow specifically unless you want to. And if you do want to, and you do it through my link, I will earn a teeny tiny commission, like a dollar or something, which, you know, those add up. So if you want to check that out, you can, but yeah, don't discount the little things. And if you don't remember when you last changed your pillow, it's time to change your pillow. We're going to wrap this up here, except I'm going to remind you that my Ayurvedic spring renewal program starts Monday, April 4th. You're going to learn all sorts of fun things like how to do a self facial massage and you're like, why would I want to do that? Because it helps to drain excess mucus and fluid from your sinuses, which sounds gross. But I've had people say that they enjoyed it so much because you could feel the difference instantaneously. Well, not instantaneously. Within a matter of five minutes, you could feel a difference. And it was really satisfying to them to know that I actually hadn't made a difference in their body's health and how they felt in such a short period of time. Because, you know, a lot of times you do these things and you're like, did that make any difference? This one you can really feel. You're also going to learn some simple movements, some simple exercises you can do to help stimulate lymphatic drainage. Um, cause we've been kind of stagnant through the winter, most of us, and we could use a little help cleaning that out foods. You should prioritize in the spring to help support your digestion recipes, some breathing techniques, what kind of exercise and movement is best this time of year. It's not a workout program. It's not a diet. You're allowed to eat anything you want. Just going to say, Hey, you might want to put a few more of these spices on your foods and maybe eat a little bit less of this for a week or two not because it's fattening, but because it's going to help support your digestion. So if you'd like more information on that, head to welluniversity.ca. That's where you can get all of my online programs and classes and etc. We'd love to have you. Remember, $29. Best deal in town. Best deal in town. Thank you so much for tuning in. Go look at your pillow. See if you might need a new one. I will talk to you next week.